There are two main benefits to having a policy manual or policy statement. It can both serve as a guide for student journalists and offer some protection to them and their school as well. Every student media outlet should have one. So what is a policy statement? Let me guess. It's a statement of the publication's policies. Uh, um, yeah. Would you like to be the one to go over policy manuals? Are you sure? I mean, you do go over it every year, so I have heard it a couple times already. Please, the floor is yours. Okay, fine. As I was saying, a policy statement or policy manual, same thing, states the publication's policies. And that can be both a guide and a protection for student journalists. The policy manual also tells the world what the publication's values are. It has legal implications, so wording it right is important. It can be simple or more detailed. While it's good to tailor a policy statement to the community, school, and even the particular publication, there are three central elements that it should include. Please continue. The first is about who controls the content of the publication, and the answer to that is that students should control the content of the publication. The second is about forum status. What's forum status? I was getting to that. Forum status is a legal term, and it's complicated. The first thing to know is that you want to state that your publication is a limited public forum for student expression. The importance of having a public forum was highlighted in the 1988 Hazelwood decision by the Supreme Court. <laughs> SPLC suggests stating that the publication is a limited public forum for student expression to get the most First Amendment protections. And the third thing to state is that the student should be able to publish without prior review or prior restraint. And you might be thinking, what are those? I'll tell you. Prior review is when someone other than the publication advisor expects to review the material prior to it being published. This is not a desirable dynamic. Prior restraint is essentially censorship, a situation where school officials refuse to allow something to be published or demand it be retracted after it's published. That can be something like one small word or a whole article or an entire edition. These are the key things to include. A policy manual could also include that the publication won't publish anything illegal. It could include references to state laws, the First Amendment, and landmark legal decisions, and it could talk about how student journalists practice civic engagement. For more details and sample manuals, see the description below. For the Scholastic Press Rights Committee, we're Trip Robbins.